2010 has seen Information Services demonstrate its great commitment to service and innovation. Not only are we serving more staff and students than ever before, but their expectations of us are growing and we've managed to provide the services to meet their expectations. Not only have we done so, but we've also undertaken a range of exciting new initiatives. What you're about to see will show you some of what we've achieved this year. We had an old system that was almost 18 years old. So in replacing that, we took the opportunity to replace our front end with a user-centred web smart discovery layer. The most significant and satisfying one was when we went live and we got positive feedback. A real wow factor in that it actually met their needs in a, a new and interesting way. This is the new library search system. It's so easy to use. With one single entry, it brings up books, DVDs, journal articles, even e-books. It's so great and I always find what I'm looking for. My experience using the new library search has been excellent. Because I work with international students, teaching them how to use it was extremely easy. There were very few slip-ups. At the end of 2009, the university decided that our old student email system was a little bit outdated. So they looked at a few options and, and Google was chosen. The major feature was that we could have a, our students could have a, an email for life, which means we can stay in contact with our students once they've graduated. We actually got 16,000 students onto Gmail within eight weeks. Um, most other universities took about six months to get to that point. When we did the mass migration of 55,000 students to Gmail, um, we did that in three days. Um, what I really love about Gmail is that it's just so easy to use. All my friends are using it. It has a great storage capacity. Um, it groups our conversations together so that it's so easy to access and it never breaks down. We're here in NO2 Cinema at the Nathan campus, which is one of the 45 lecture capture enabled theatres. Lecture Capture is a service for students. It's a very simple system to use. Once the academics decided to record, the recordings in venues like this are automated throughout the semester. Those recordings are then published into Learning at Griffith and students can access them anytime. And Lecture Capture just involves your voice being recorded. It also involves the uh, PowerPoint. Everything that goes through the computer and gets projected up is recorded. For me, Lecture Capture was the best. Smart Thinking is an online 24 hour a day academic tutoring tool. It's aimed at uh, lifting the academic skills, writing skills of students and also consolidating their discipline content knowledge. It came about by the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic to uh, ensure that retention rates within courses across the university were raised. Particularly it's lifted the confidence of the students who've used it because they have the capacity to submit multiple pieces of writing if they wish to the site and to have it critiqued and or they can access uh, discipline specific information when they require it. Griffith is now uh, provides an Edurome service for staff and students. Edurome is a service where you can access wireless uh, pretty much at any other university campus. The wireless project this year was a really exciting project because we uh, covered some really interesting things like increasing coverage for student labs and communal areas. That was really important for students so that they could actually get to uh, the wireless network and to Griffith resources online. The Fiberlink project was a five year project and the aim was to replace the microwave service that we have here at Griffith. The new fibre optic link that we put in place provided a backup service for the existing primary link between all the other campuses. So this means students and staff when they're accessing IT resources whether it's wired or the wireless network they'll have seen no disruption in service which means that the student experience won't be compromised and staff won't lose productivity. Hi, 
Hi everybody and welcome to Griffith University N53, Nathan Campus. This is the campus library and will eventually be the one-stop shop for our clients to come to see student administration or the international office. All of your library services will be here. We've been working here since September. Lots and lots of disruption and dust and hoarding and I thought you might like to come with us and have a look. Come this way. So what's happening behind me is the guys are putting in a temporary entrance and exit for M53. New students who start in 2011 will be using these entrances to start with. If you want to follow the urban motif in the roof here, you'll see that we're going for a minimalist decorative option. And we've got stairs blocked off here. It's quite an adventure to find your way around. And let me show you our lovely brand new lift, which talks and has flashing lights. And we've chosen the padded wall theme. Okay, nice talking to you, gotta get back to it. So long. It was a great opportunity to see another institution. I thought a great idea that the Griffith Library staff had um, at the Gold Coast is that they have a staff recognition award. I think you're doing everything well. Definitely customer service and a uh, friendly atmosphere for the students at the same time as you're trying to provide a good service um, and also making them as self-sufficient as possible. Our standardised practices and procedures that we have implemented across all of the university campuses and all the libraries is fantastic. I, I think that that is a really strong point for us. Video, such an engaging medium and there's huge demand for it in learning and teaching. Promotion. Training. Now is the right time. The technological environment is ideal for video. This is a fantastic university asset. Our challenge has been to bring this capability to the forefront of information services. In two years, we have improved our processes and the way in which we engage with our clients and our end users. We have evolved from a three-level service into a six-level service and now producing even more complex videos. This service came about because we had multiple situations with our clients where they had batteries. They wanted our assistance to dispose of those batteries in appropriate ways. So we were able to expand the mobile master service and tie in the new service in one combined recycle station. We have 15 recycle stations across five campuses and additionally we work in with the university store so they, they collect batteries for recycling as well we are able to assess whether the service is going well. It's just purely in the, in the volume of batteries that we're preventing from going into landfill. Two thousand and ten saw a launch of the Friends of the Library, a great initiative to build stronger links with the communities that we serve and to bring their expertise into the university. We held two great events and launched the newsletter and there'll be more events to come next year.
ERA project provided um, INS with a great opportunity to contribute to university outcomes. INS played a critical role in assisting the university to prepare its ERA submission. They provided complete coverage for the publications collection and the digital repository, making sure our submission was as complete as possible. Thanks to the excellent work of the INS team, the Griffith ERA submission seems more complete than most other universities, and this will certainly have a positive effect on our rankings. We built a solution to link researchers with the research projects as well as data set collections and uh, these records are being published to a discovery tool called Research Data Australia. Because we took data from so many different university sources, we were able to plug it together in a way that's much more useful. We're able to give people a much more visual and exciting way of discovering what the possible connections between people and research actually is. The best thing in this project was probably building a community between researchers, professionalists, various different institutions, even across different countries. 